Earlier we saw how to set up and configure logging for package execution once a project or a package has been deployed to your server. Now, similarly to the logged events window in the uh, Visual Studio or SSDT, you're going to want to be able to access those logs. So from an execution standpoint, what you want to do is to right click and just go back into your execute option. And uh, again, for my package, we'll enable my environment here, but uh, set up your logging option to whatever it is that you want it to be, of course. Uh, and execute the package. Now, mine doesn't take very long, of course, but uh, we dismissed this window previously. So we'll have a look now because this, in fact, is where you'll see the logged events. So it tells you the operation ID 175. Now, this increments each time. So uh, don't expect uh, this number here to be the same. It's always different for every execution. Uh, in fact, let's actually dismiss this again. Take note of 175. Let's just immediately re-execute the same package, same level, and it'll tell us ID 176. So again, that's just a counter, basically, to identify each execution. So for more information about package executions and validations, open the Integration Services Dashboard Report. So it generates a report, and that's where we can find the logged values that we, uh, that we want to see. So it's just asking us right here if we want to open the report now. Simply say yes, and this is the report that you'll see, and this basically will tell you all of the logged events that took place with respect to that package. Now, again, my package does not do very much, so there's not a lot of information here, but you do see, of course, that it succeeded. It tells us what's happening. It's truncating the table. Uh, it backed up the database. You know, everything basically went exactly as it should. Uh, it gives us the operation ID number here again, the package that was run, uh, the status, the duration, the start time, all of that information, and even which parameters were used as well. Uh, so you can, of course, see any kind of information with respect to what you told it to log by accessing these reports. Now, depending on which type of logging level you set, the report will alter a little bit. So if we go back in and execute again, and change it to maybe the verbose logging. Then we can click on OK, and you see again the ID has incremented. We can open the report, and you know again mine probably won't be much different because there's just nothing going on. Mine is truncating a table and backing up a database. But uh, if you had a very complex package, then chances are you would see much more detailed information when you enable verbose logging. So there's a result here, there's three more showing, so there's a filter in place. We can specify all here, or we can look for uh, other options for anything that maybe was canceled, completed, failed, or succeeded, but we'll just leave it at all, choose OK, and this will expand to show us a little bit more. Uh, so again, there's only those three tasks in mind, so uh, you know it's not really any different than the previous report. But anytime you do see that filter option, of course, you can just simply click on that and select exactly what it is that you are looking for. And in a lot of cases, you're probably troubleshooting, so you might want to see failed uh, options, things like that. But you can simply set that to be whatever you want. And we have view messages. And uh, this simply retrieves any messages that, uh, that are uh, associated with this. So there was no error message. And there's a view overview option as well. So basically, this is kind of the same report as what we saw before. So, you know, again, it's just the fact that mine doesn't really do much, that I'm not seeing a whole lot of information here. But these reports are the result of your logging level that you set here when you execute the package. So you can just simply execute and pull those reports up at any time. Now, if it's something that you're looking for, maybe. Uh, just to get some basic details about the package, uh, you can just right click on it and you see that there's the option for reports. And then there's standard reports and it does give you a couple of uh, quick picks here, all executions and all validations. So you can see those uh, as well. They don't have a whole lot to do with the logging levels that are set, but it does at least tell you here are uh, you know, all of the instances where this particular package was run. 
and it gives you you know the the quick information, the start time, the end time, the project name, all of that kind of basic stuff, if you will, and how long it took to actually succeed or fail. So again, you can simply set your logging level in your execution window. Once you have that set, go ahead and execute and simply ask it to pull up the report when complete and you'll get all of that logging information so you can keep an eye on how your executions are performing.